Welcome to the old Alton Bridge in Denton, Texas, a historic old crossing that one might not suspect for almost a century has had a reputation for evil. The old Alton Bridge is said to harbor a demon called the Goatman, hence the nickname the Goatman Bridge. According to witnesses, the goat man is eight feet tall, has the chest and arms of a man, the hindquarters and feet of a goat, and has a goat's head complete with horns and glowing eyes. Depending on who you ask, goat man either has red fur like the fires of hell itself, or black fur that makes spotting him at night impossible until it's too late. A lot like a certain clown we won't name, Goatman is said to be the reason that mysterious disappearances happen in this area every few years. Locals believe that the Goatman remains dormant for years on end before he either awakens or is awakened by unwitting people who cross his bridge at the wrong time or in the wrong way. It's said that if you speak Goatman's name while crossing the bridge, you'll summon the entity at night. During the day, however, as he sleeps under the bridge. Speaking his name only guarantees that he will walk the bridge the following night, enraged that his sleep was interrupted. Some even say that Goatman Bridge is a portal to hell and that those visiting at 3 a.m. will smell brimstone and fire. Some even say that they see visions of hell itself. Well, those who are fortunate enough to return, that is. So if you believe the legend of the Goatman, this right here is the cursed tree of Alton Bridge. Some say that this is the portal to which Goatman entered our world. So what you're essentially looking at is a portal to hell. And this tree is cursed, so if you come over and touch it, well, you're gonna have nothing but bad luck for a very, very long time. And I do not tempt fate. That's not the cursed tree. Cursed tree's over there. I told you, I don't tempt fate. Locals say a second spirit haunts the bridge as well, a phantom mother who wails and cries looking for her lost and long dead child. Residents walking along the bridge and the trails in the area have reported hearing her cries and even seeing her on the bridge's span, crying around the middle somewhere, but when you approach her, she vanishes. Some say she lost her child in a flood, while others say that her lost child was stolen from her by the goat man himself and that the mother is now condemned to eternally search for a child that she can never find. But who is the Goat Man, and where did he come from? According to legend, in life, Goat Man was a black goat farmer named Oscar Washburn. He gained a reputation as an honest businessman and was well-respected and successful in his community, but drew the ire of the local Ku Klux Klan who conspired against him and used a sign that he placed on the bridge as an excuse to lynch and hang him. What did the sign say? This way to the goat man. When the KKK returned after they hanged him to dispose of the body, they were shocked to find the noose empty and the body missing. Locals who were horrified by the despicable actions of the Klan nicknamed the Alton Bridge in his honor as the Goatman Bridge. Among crying mothers and demonic goatmen, the bridge has also seen unexplained lights, rocks thrown at visitors, and people getting grabbed by unseen hands. So Goatman, we're coming back tonight and if you want to drop in on us, we'd love to welcome you. Come on, be part of my video. It'd be awesome. Get lots of hits. So as you can see, it's dark now. Um, we are back at the old Alton Bridge, otherwise known as the Goatman Bridge. I called out the Goatman earlier saying we would be back tonight, thinking that I wasn't going to be, but now I'm here and I'm beginning to think that might be a mistake. What does it mean when it blinks? So this detects electromagnetic fields. And so it is believed that in theory, if a um, spirits when they use their when they have energy or something like that it gives off an electromagnetic charge which will cause this thing to blink when it's nowhere near anything electrical so, oh. so it's believed that if it goes off and starts going off a lot that, that in theory could mean that there's a spirit nearby or something like that so. and there is no electricity on this bridge not that I 
Oh, awesome, thanks. So, Oscar Washburn, otherwise known as the Goat Man. If you're here, we'd love to meet you. Come on out. Please. Is this Oscar? Is this the Goat Man? Yes? Yes? All right, so I'm talking to Oscar Washburn. Yes? You know, Oscar, if you want to, like, touch one of us, yeah. I won't lie, that would be amazing. Yeah, just just so we know that you're here, okay? We, we want people... I feel so unloved. Yes, when these lights go off, that means that you're here and it lets us know, okay? Yeah? Does that make you happy that we can tell that you're there? All right, are you in front of us? Are you in front of us where the flashlight is showing? Yes, you're in front of us? Yep. Okay, so aside from some wonky EMF readings and a lot of wildlife, including a very cool possum, we didn't see anything here and uh, I didn't want to fake anything. I'm not Sam and Cody, I don't have that kind of time. S Cody? Sam and Colby. Okay, I've been calling them Sam and Cat for like three years now. That's progress. In any case, Goatman Bridge, whether named after a demon or an innocent goat farmer who lost his life to racial injustice, will continue to be a source of historical curiosity and morbid fascination to those brave enough to cross its length. Just think twice before you call the Goatman's name. It could be hell.